What this is doing is this is taking problems away from a developer. So let's take a look at our work in progress. Sleuth Auto is tracking your deployments as they're out in your door metrics. It's already happened, but it's also looking at what work is happening at runtime. This screen is starting to be used more and more by our teams to help identify issues before they become issues. And that's really the whole point of this. Identify risks before they negatively affect your metrics. The one that we're particularly focusing on right now is review lag time. And as you can see, we're not quite there. We still have a ways to go, which is when pull requests are created, how long until someone has done a review on it. What this is doing is this is taking problems away from a developer. So what would happen before this tool is that your senior developer or manager would have this inkling that something's wrong and be really annoyed and yell at people about it. And they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. You're just crazy. And then, no, you guys aren't doing reviews. And it would create this, this angst in the team, which would create problems, potentially personal problems, things like that. The more you can take something like that away from people and into a tool, the better off everyone is. What you want to do is take that same approach to your process itself, waiting for a review, doing a review, but waiting on a merge, doing a deploy if that's going too long. Find ways to automate it. The key to doing more with less is to empower your developers to be able to make changes to the things that bug them because the people that are closer to the front lines are going to have the best information on what's actually happening, what's actually slowing things down. So the more you empower them, the more you will succeed and the more your company will succeed and your customers will be happy. Thank <laughs> you.